you will live the most fulfilling life if you adopt certainty in this one fundamental concept of life. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rahosa, and if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, then welcome. On this channel, I am here to remind you of the creative power that lives within you. I believe that we were all created to create the best life possible, and that begins with creating the best life possible for ourselves. So that way we have that full cup energy to give to the people in our lives and to the world around us. Today's video is about certainty, but not just certainty in anything thing, but in what I believe to be the most important thing that you can be certain of in your life. And to some people, they may resonate instantly with what I'm about to say. And to other people, they're going to be probably very resistant. But ultimately, it's my responsibility only to share the message and what has helped me and a mindset that has helped me my whole life with having an overall optimistic and positive outlook towards any event that happens to me in my life. And it helps me get out of negative states quicker. And it helps me create and manifest my dreams quicker because I have this mentality. Now I'm going to get right into it. The certainty that we want to have in our life is the certainty that no matter what's happening externally to me, no matter the way things look outside of me right now, I don't see the whole picture and I know that the creator is behind this and that everything is good. That is the certainty. The certainty is that I don't see how, but I know I have certainty that this is good. On some higher level, this is good. Maybe it doesn't look good. Maybe in this physical world, no, it's not good. It's not good physically. But from that soul perspective, from a higher consciousness level perspective, this is good. This is for the evolution of my soul in ways that I cannot understand. If you are someone who gets triggered by this statement, then I'm going to say even more that this is a belief system and a mindset that you should work on adopting if this is something that you want to make true for you. If you want everything in your life to be good, we all want good things to happen. If we want good things to happen to us, then we must first start at this level of believing that things are inherently good. Most people just want to look for circumstances outside of them to change first before they can feel good. They need good things to happen in order to feel like life is good. In order to feel like the creator is with them and, and life is on our side and we have beings that are always with us and supporting us, people feel the need to see evidence of that before they can feel it internally. But what I'm saying is the opposite. We need to first feel it internally. We need to first feel supported, first feel the love of life and from the universe. This doesn't mean we can never be emotional, never be reactive to situations. The truth is that life is going to throw triggering and things that are going to test our patience, test our belief in ourself in life. But it's in those moments, especially when we're being presented with challenges, that we need to infiltrate our mind with this knowing. This doesn't mean suppress your emotions. It means deal with what's coming up, but have that knowing in the back of your mind and eventually bring yourself out of that state to know that this situation is good. I want you to think back on your life at things that looked like they were like the end of the world scenarios. Maybe you got dumped by your ex-partner. Maybe you got fired from your job. Maybe some sort of negative external event happened to you where you thought it was the end of the world. You felt like, how could this possibly be good? And if anyone ever dared tell you that the situation is good, you'd probably slap them in the face. Because from our perception, it doesn't look good. These things that happen to us, they don't look good. But where the certainty comes in is even in those moments when we are being tested by life to say, I don't know how, but this is good somehow. And we can use our past as proof to this because maybe in those situations where you got fired from the job or dumped by the partner that you ended up having the biggest blessing come out of that experience that you would never know in that moment, but you could only see back in hindsight. We have to have this bigger picture view on our lives as well, not just from the perspective of our human, but from the perspective of our soul. If we're thinking big picture and like the truth of why we came into this reality in the first place, the truth of why we chose to lower our consciousness and come to this world of density, of materialism, of physicality, to have this human experience is to have these challenges come up for us so our soul can evolve. This is a deep Kabbalistic concept that I'm only touching the surface on, but countless spiritual ancient mysticisms talk about this, as well as hundreds of thousands, I think it's millions of people at this point, who have actually had near-death experiences where they clinically leave this earth and come back 
and explain their story, explain what they went through, and the commonality between all of them came to this understanding that our souls chose to come into this earth, chose to come into this human experience, and to experience every single challenge and painful event that we do. Because of this, if we have this true understanding within us, then we can begin to strengthen this certainty and this true core belief that everything is good in our life. This is, it's, it sounds simple, but it's truly one of the deepest spiritual concepts and it completely contradicts what we know and what we've been taught. Things look like they're shit, things look like they're weird, things look unaligned, things look wrong. They look confusing. I'm in the dark right now, I don't see how things can possibly be better. But choosing to have certainty in those moments, that shifts your reality. That shifts your timeline to a more favorable timeline. I spoke about this in one of my recent videos when I spoke about the power of your assumptions and how the power of your assumptions isn't when things are going great, things are going beautifully, and you're like, oh my God, things are going perfect. I assume they're just gonna go better and better and better. Well, that's easy to do. Everyone knows that's easy to assume things are gonna be good when things are already going good. But what about when you're being tested in life? Are you still keeping that same energy? Are you still keeping that certainty and that faith that things are good when they don't look good in your physical external world, the shifts have to start internally and then they reflect externally. When you shift your perspective and your assumption on the situation, assuming, oh, this is bad, oh, assuming this is gonna get worse, to switching it to assuming, no, this is actually good and, I, and I'm gonna see soon how it's gonna get better and better and better for me even though I'm in the dark, even though maybe things have been snowballing in your life and not going your way and continue to not go your way. If you still choose when things are going wrong and you are in the dark to have certainty and have faith, you are going to be maximally rewarded from the universe. You, you are going to receive the maximum reward from the universe. I'll give you a small example that I gave in a, a previous video of just something that you can think about in your day-to-day -day life, maybe how this applies to you. But when I was filming a video a few days ago, I filmed like three videos, took me a couple hours, and I sat down to edit. I edited about half of one video, only to find out that the audio completely cut out in all of the videos. And I wasted many, many hours. Not only that, but now I didn't have content. Now I didn't have a video to go up. And the instant thought or reaction that a person would have is, oh, this is bad. This is bad. Why did this happen? And, and I'm not gonna lie, I did get a little bit internally reactive. I did feel stress coming up and I did feel all these things, but it was, but in that moment, I decided to make a choice. And that is what this comes down to. It's all a choice of how we view reality and view our life. And it's a muscle that we continue to strengthen the more that we practice saying this to ourselves. But I said to myself, okay, I do not see how this is good. Even something so small as this, I don't see how this is good but I'm going to choose to know life would never throw something in my path if it was not somehow for my benefit. So I'm going to let go and I'm going to trust the flow of life. I'm going to trust that something will work itself out. And I kind of just let it go for a bit. I didn't want to get too emotionally reactive about the situation. And what ended up happening was I started getting downloads and messages and new things that I wanted to include in that video that I didn't previously recorded in that video. So because I chose to view it as good, I was blessed with a flood of inspiration that came to me and I shifted my destiny because I could have gone down the path of getting extremely emotional, extremely upset, scratching the whole project and doing a, an entirely new video. But I chose the reality. I chose to make the decision of, no, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to perfect this video. And once again, it is a small example, but it's those small things that add up in our life. If when every single little minor inconvenience happens to you in your life, you're constantly looking for the bad in it, you're going to continuously see more bad, manifest more bad, because that's what your focus is on. But if your focus is on life is good, you're going to continuously see that being reflected back to you. So it's not just about wishful thinking. It's about actually shifting your timeline and also having this deep knowing that on a bigger picture, soul level, 
things are good. The creator only wants the best for you. Life is not out to get you. Life is not here to test you and to make you suffer, but it is your responsibility to choose the way that you see it because nothing has that inherent meaning other than the meaning that we ascribe to it. I recently just watched David Guillaume's Kabbalah One course, which I highly recommend, not affiliated, not sponsored whatsoever, but I, I do have a deep connection with Kabbalah and have been studying it for basically my whole life since my parents have been studying it since I was born. And I started studying Kabbalah and other spiritual teachings as well. But there's this concept that he shares in Kabbalah One, and if you've taken Kabbalah One, you know this, where he says, when anything happens to you that seems bad, to repeat to yourself and say, pause, what a pleasure. To pause in that moment when you would normally get reactive and instead switch our perspective to, this is actually good, this is a pleasure. Pause, what a pleasure. It's not easy especially in the beginning, especially when you're starting to observe these things coming up, it's not easy to make that shift. But if you want to call in more blessings, more good things in your reality, and ultimately more fulfillment, this is the number one key secret to living a fulfilled life. This is what I truly believe is the number one key to living a fulfilled life. I am going to end this video off here. I really hope that you gain so much value from it. If you've watched until the end of this video, leave me a orange heart in the comment section down below. Match the shirt. I appreciate you so, so much for being here and for watching. Please leave this video a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to get new videos from me weekly. Without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!